magician Murray Sawchuck. He's isolated right now, but he's going to uh, <laughs> perform some magic for us. Big reveal coming up in just a bit as the blend starts right now. Speaking of entertainers, first up right here, uh, we're adapting moment by moment, guys, to the changes happening around Las Vegas, and so are the entertainers in town. Last week, we planned on having our next guest in to talk about his new show, his second show on the Vegas Strip, but over the weekend, things have changed a little bit. Murray the Magician, the pressure's on you to raise the spirits of wow. an entire city. What wow. <laughs> How are you guys doing way over there? You good? Uh, we're great. great. I know. He's it's a solid great. 25 feet distance. Now, here's the deal. When was the last time you got your hair cut? Because I'm right now regretting the fact I haven't gotten mine done. It's I'm probably been, been months. Right? Yeah. It's probably been months. But your hair looks very professional. It's very nice. You mine should see the back. It's dirty. It's, i got to <laughs> clean that line. Perfect. Hey, Murr, you know, you should just keep your hair uncut and see how tall you can get I it should. during this time. Why I not? shouldn't. This time of uh, quarantine and staying home, I should just see how far I can actually grow it. You, you get know? sideshow Bob level. Maybe I'll try the beard thing too. I could never I grow a beard. I love it. I love it. All men should See? grow beards. That's my See? vote. I, I did shave I today, it. but I might, I might well, just you go full beard. Bring the beard back. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, so listen, Mur, I know that uh, you know being at home is not a problem for you because you sure. have those adorable dogs. Yes. But, but this is unusual. We were going to have you in because not only do you have your show nightly, but you recently joined the cast of Fantasy. Yes. So give us an update on what happened before, yeah. before the shows have closed this weekend. Yeah, it's such a great show. You know, I got called about three, four weeks ago by Anita Mann, who's been a friend of mine for years. And, uh, and they were looking for, you know, a comedy guest. And I thought, you know, she said, hey, would you mind popping in? I said, I'd love to. I, I remember that show when I came to Vegas back in 2002. Yeah. Yeah. And I loved the show. Uh, the cast was phenomenal. The, the show was, you know, um, one of the classiest shows I'd ever seen in Las Vegas and still is. So when she said, would you mind coming in? I said, I'm in. Let's do this. And, uh, but it's a different type of show. You know, I'm used to doing an hour and 10 minutes. And my audience ranges from 2 to 102. And with this show, you know, it's an adult-based show. So it's it's, it's one of those things where, and it's not my show. So when you walk out on stage, they're not expecting me. So it's a very different vibe when you walk out there and you have to Im impress these people who are not there to see you. You know what I mean? Yeah, and right. to see a burlesque show. And <laughs> when you think of burlesque, you do not think of this. Yes, I you know. know. What I'm saying? So, yeah, I was going to say, are you, you know. scantily clad? Yeah, well, I mean, no, this is as clad as I, I will scantily. Say, I will say this. I have seen you in some pretty co uh, compromising pictures. Oh. You've, uh, you've seen my Instagram, oh, apparently. Yeah, yes, let me tell you something. Was, yeah. You know, he, he looks like a funny guy, but he takes that shirt off. <laughs> wow. You, <laughs> you have to have a laugh once. Woof. I no, mean, it's not a laugh about, sir. That is like, you're a weapon. It's just for you, Sean. It's for you, actually. So, guys, Murray, on a more serious note, I know that, you know, Cirque du Soleil has closed their shows, but yeah. tell us a little bit. We want to understand what's happening to people right now in the Valley. In particular, there's a lot of people who are performers who are used to performing five, six nights a week. Can you give us a story? What's happening with your friends? You know, it's amazing because in our bubble, I was just sitting at home talking to Danny, who's my girlfriend, and she's the host of, you know, Crazy Girls, and we were all talking about this, saying it's amazing how everything's evolving around where people are losing their jobs yeah. and and they're not losing their jobs their jobs are postponed you know yeah. i've i remember uh, back in 9 11 i had shows right through there and i remember i couldn't fly i had to drive to pennsylvania living in florida for a show and i did this because planes were all grounded you know wow. uh from the route 91 harvest festival when mm -hmm. things changed um all these different things and this is the same thing and you know i've been in the business all my life and most of my friends have been in the business all their lives and we'll survive you know what i mean yes. we'll get through this and like we were talking before the cameras rolled, it's not what happens to us, because that we don't really have control of, it's how we react Amen. to it. Bravo. And I've always lived my life like this. You know, we've had years that are good, bad, and indifferent, and so how I've gotten through everything is, is how I've reacted, yeah. not what's happened to me, because stuff's gonna happen, no you question. know what I mean? So it's how you react, you have that control. Hey, Mark. be nice. Yes. Mar, we, we so appreciate your words of wisdom, yeah. and, and that's right on point, my friend. But we're running out of time. Okay. We have a trick and we have <laughs> yes, quick seconds. trick. Sure, let's right. do this. So I have four postcards here of uh, artwork. We have the Mona Lisa, okay. we have the Scream, we have uh, Van Gogh, yeah. and then, of course, we have the girl with the pe pearl earring. Oh, I'm, yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm going to mix these postcards up. I have a notepad here. I'm not going to show you just yet. I'm going to mix them up. I want you guys to say stop whenever you wish or whatever we stop. Stop! Right there. Great. Oh. I'm going to have you look at this. I want, I'm not going to look at it, but memorize it, look at it. You got it? Yeah. Got it. You know what it is, yes? It. Yep. Yeah. I'm putting her. that down. I have my notepad here, which you can't see anything on. 
But I have hand sanitizer because it's very fitting for the season. Oh, no. And if you watch Don't really waste carefully. It. Don't waste it. Watch, I know. This is very expensive. If you watch really carefully your selection. Uh, what was your selection? What was the one you stopped at? What was the Can painting? Say? Yeah, go for it. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Wow. No way. Yes. Isn't that cool? Man, oh, man. And she's sanitized. She's never and she's been sanitized. so fresh and so clean. Isn't that great? See? Murray, you're fantastic. <laughs> and you've, you've left the studio cleaner than once you walked in. So. That's, that's, see, it's, what, it's not what happens to you, it's how you deal with it. See, there you go. Guest. Uh, Murray, you're welcome back. Honestly, we're, we're going to probably need to fill. You and know, if you want to entertain, we're I'll be back anytime, you guys. When his show's back up at the Trop and then he's walking across the street and yep. doing fantasy, we'll have you back and no we'll question. do a whole thing again. We Thank might you. just call you back anyway to do anytime. that. Anytime. All right. I'm here for you. Love you. Man. Thank you. Love you guys. Say Bye. hi to the dogs. I will. If you want to see our segment with Murray again, just go to our website, lasvegasmorningblend.com. We host segments for the past 90 days. You can watch stuff back from January when we had no idea what was going on.